hey guys sam here so a lot of people uh, buy new android phones uh, just because they don't get updates from the companies that they are using so and many people use custom roms for getting latest android uh, on their smartphones but uh, the problem with custom roms is that uh, many of them are not stable many of them have bugs that irritate people so this is mocky rom 6.0 for uh, Xiaomi Redmi Note 4G, the nickname is Dia. If anybody is interested, D I O R Dia. And I'm going. And this is my review for this ROM. Is this stable or not? Is it recommended or not? And what are the pros and cons? So, so guys, let's uh, first go through all the settings and what are new features we get with this ROM. So, uh, in terms of connectivity, I was having no issues. Uh, like uh, the Wi-Fi was good. While networks were good. Yes, LTE is there. Yes, LTE. I'll enable the Wi-Fi. And uh, regarding the sound, uh, at first the audio via the internal speaker of this phone was uh, not very satisfying. It was bad. But the audio via the 3.5 mm headphone jack was good, satisfying. But uh, we also get this app known as Viper for Android. And it can uh, improve the sound quality. This is a phone speaker. Uh, you can uh, enable for the headset also. And these are very helpful in improving sound quality and uh, next up we have display and lights so adaptive brightness is there it works well ambient display we have seen the motorola devices whenever we get a notification uh, the screen turns off on itself and it shows a solid black background it chooses the time and the notification from which app it is and that is very helpful double tap to sleep you just have to double tap on the status bar to turn it off like this it is very handy feature and uh, you can uh, now we get to the themes you can get many themes on the google play store like uh, like uh, i have this one icons wallpapers boot animations and it is as customizable as on uh, miui 6 and 7 so uh, i love to change themes like uh, htc sense and sony xperia and you can get many more on Google Play Store depending on what you like. I like these themes. So uh, next up we have notifications. As on MIUI you can turn on notifications for certain apps. And next is uh, lock screen. Screen lock pattern uh, that's entirely your choice. Buttons. I like on screen buttons so I have enabled them. Buttons and layout left handed mode. Uh, you can adjust the button height. Uh, and call and these are very handy features and you can also tap on the power button two times to open the camera no matter on which screen you are and uh, no matter if the screen is locked it will open up the camera now the battery performance is uh, not very satisfying it is um, it is less as compared on MIUI 7 the battery drains a little bit faster but I have kept it on efficiency by default it comes on balanced so uh, after 50 when uh, the battery is around 15 percent it will uh, ask you to enable the power saving mode next up we have security i'm not going to that memory users can enable your user profile system profile status bar you can adjust these tiles okay tile uh, i have customized it using my sony xperia theme you can add tiles, you can remove tiles, you can uh, customize these, the battery style, apps, uh, it will show you, like, I'll not turn on the battery saver for now, you can uh, see system apps, and hide system apps, next is uh, privacy, Google, uh, these are the Google settings actually, location data name accessibility storage and usb and the best feature uh, in android 6.0 marshmallow is that you can treat your external sd card as an internal memory but for that you need to format your sd card the system will do it for you and uh, but i don't want to lose the data so i am treating it as an external sd card only next up we uh, first uh, we should know how to enable developer options you just need to go build number so tap on it six to seven times simultaneously to enable it uh, you can see it is already enabled yes it is 6.0.1 marshmallow not going to play the game yes then the developer options you can uh, select advanced reboot uh, it will 
table uh, it will show you the options to go to recovery boot lo uh, bootloader etc uh, you can go through you can adjust the animations here is it here and you can enable root access you can disable root access next is mocky center i have heard many complaints regarding that uh, many people are not able to flash ot updates now what you uh, have to do is just to refresh it and uh, an update comes out at least every day and just download the update and when it is downloaded it will show you an option here only and it will show you an icon and you have to tap on that icon and it will ask you to update the phone and you can just tap on it and it will update it for you but if you if an error is occurring just what you need to do is go into the file manager this is not the default manager i have downloaded one from the play store just go into internal storage and uh, Let's go into MK updater. For now, I have no data because I have moved them into the SD card because the storage is low. And one more thing, when I flash this ROM, actually I thought that all the apps would go, all the photos, music would go. But uh, I got an option to uh, restore backup, and I restored all my apps from MIUI to this ROM. That is very uh, good, and thanks for that. Now about phone Android six point two. Next up, guys, I'm going to show you how the camera interface looks like. And uh, oh my God. so I'm going to take some pictures. So here is the picture. The camera performance is decent but not th that good as compared to MIUI. It is just decent. Now I am going to show you the Geekbench test. This is the Geekbench score. For single core it is 432. Multi core score is 1503. So and uh, this was on balanced mode. But on efficiency mode, you will get a little uh, less score. But this is, I think, uh, somewhere near to uh, MIUI 7 only. So not bad at all. Not bad. Uh, so, next up, uh, so now I'm uh, going to tell you some bugs that are occurring. First of all, sometimes uh, phone gets slow accidentally, and sometimes it starts, uh, it reboots again and again. Uh, but whenever I feel like uh, it, the, some bugs are there and the phone is getting a little bit slow, what I do is a flash and update because uh, uh, it occurs in two to three days every day. Uh, some bug is there and I update it. Uh, so and uh, those bugs are gone. Sometimes the music player stops. Uh, not sometimes, many times. Now the most famous bug is that Facebook and Messenger are not working. So for replacement for uh, Facebook, I have uh, I'm using Facebook Lite and that is working. But uh, the main thing is how to fix that. So I'll show you uh, a fix for that. And I actually search on Google. I browse through many websites and I finally got a solution. But I also don't know whether it is working or not on the MIUI site I got a file that I flashed but for some cases it was working but not on my case so uh, what what you have to do actually you need to download that file I'll uh, uh, leave a link in the description box below for that URL that leads you to the site MIUI and uh, what you need to do is place it in your internal storage where is it wait one second guys downloads yeah here it is and this is the file 0b slash ok so here is the file what you need to do first you need to extract it extract ok oh, sorry guys I'm back now uh, and I was showing you how to fix that bug <laughs> And uh, for me, my Facebook and Messenger are now working, so I'm just going to show you the steps. You just go, uh, you just need to go into settings, privacy, privacy guard, enable uh, show built in apps, uh, go to advanced, and uh, you need to find Messenger. Uh, you need to find 
messenger where is it messenger you need to find facebook and messenger both of them and you need to uh, disable start at boot i have enabled them because uh, they're working now uh, but you, uh, you need to find both of them and uh, disable start on boot now uh, download uh, wait a second uh, download the uh, file yes uh, i just go into this go system etc yes fix and uh, as as guys i've already told you that let me check it have i as text now open this one and yes what you need to do is uh, that remove the question mark wherever it is written user make it use not user remember that user use use where is it yeah, here it is user use user use Now, uh, maybe some option to save it. Oh, wait. Yes, I want to save. Just save it. Yes, guys, it is used. Uh, no question mark at last. And uh, what you need to do is. Now, wait a second. And guys, uh, you need to just save that fix. And uh, for you now, Facebook and Messenger should be working. Yes, for me, they're working now. And guys, that wraps, uh, wraps up that video. Sorry for any disturbance because I need to check uh, the screenshot again and again because I had to recheck that whatever I was telling you was correct or not. So, uh, first of all is this rom recommended for those who don't do not want any issues uh, they want their rom to be extremely stable and they not they do not want any bugs they want facebook and messenger without any problem for them it is not recommended but for those who like latest android and they want some other features other than UI, uh it is recommended and yes for for people like me who love these kind of keys I love them and for them it is recommended but the pros are uh, lots of new features themes uh, there are not that good themes in the MIUI store I don't like many of those themes but I like these themes so and the con is that you have to manually set up and uh, fix this facebook and messenger if, to, if you have to use them so is this rom good or is this rom bad this rom is very good at it gives you a latest android feel it is stock android and it looks like st a stock android with theme support of course and it is very it is not very stable but it is not bad also yes it is a little bit slow sometimes but uh, every day you get an update and many many bugs are fixed and uh, at the end of the day you end up liking this rom very much and some of the cons can be ignored because there are so many pros so thank you guys thank you guys thanks for watching and